It's really hard to know what to expect. The Johnson City Coffee Company is nestled under some giant oaks just off Highway 290. Did you want a medium or dark roast? It's a prime spot to sip a latte and keep an eye on the surge of visitors coming to see the moon completely block out the sun for four minutes. It's possible, I don't know, at some point Monday that Highway 290 in front of us will just be a parking lot and no one will move. Owner Nancy Woodward says Johnson City has been told to prepare for 50,000 visitors. Fredericksburg is 30 miles west and is estimating 100,000 people will crowd into town by Monday. I've heard people from small towns in other parts of the country talk about what happened when they had eclipse, total solar eclipses, and it's actually kind of terrifying. Like, we could be overrun by mobs. Cherie Mayfield is making sure that no matter how big the crowds, everyone can stay caffeinated. We are stickering, stickering, stickering so many cups. Cherie chit-chats with customers all day and says so far no one has mentioned being scared off by Monday's gloomy weather forecast. Even though we have, you know, a forecast of a little bit of rain and clouds, I think people are still excited and they're gung-ho to come and, and see, you know, what they can see. Regardless of the weather, businesses in Johnson City, Fredericksburg and Kerrville say they just have to be ready for a tidal wave of tourism. Here at the Johnson City Coffee Company, they filled this horse trailer with all the supplies they'll need to handle 100,000 visitors rolling in on Highway 290. I think it will be the busiest day ever. I do, yeah. I'm certainly stocked and staffed for the busiest day ever, so we'll see. Nancy says it's a positive sign that her three rental properties are still fully booked. Nobody's canceled on my B&Bs, no. Nancy thinks if anyone decides Johnson City is not the place where darkness meets delight, it will be day trippers who are watching the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And maybe on the day of, the people that we're going to drive from Austin for the day won't show up. I don't think we'll miss them at this point. <laughs> so I think we've got all the business coming that we can handle. In Johnson City, Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.